Hi all. This is the König from Canoe, and here is um, edition 8 of our 7-part tutorial on JavaFX. So uh, we started early this year with uh, 7 steps from very simple painting a circle up to having an abacus application. And today I'd like to introduce step 8, which is um, beyond what you would normally do with JavaFX. What goes beyond here is JavaFX 3D. And here you see the, the final outcome, and I'll write a blog post for that, how that comes and what is specific about it. Um, since we have built uh, step 7 on Open Dolphin, uh, meaning that we have uh, separated view and controller as far as you can, um, it comes at, at no surprise, I hope, that um, from moving to JavaFX 3D, the, the whole business logic, the controller logic, stays 100% the same and only the view changes. And uh, you may be surprised that the view doesn't change too much. So where we had circles before, we now have a sphere. Where we had a rectangle for this rail, it is now a cylinder. And uh, the interactions are pretty much the same. You can click on one of these um, balls and it goes over here. And I have just accidentally uh, changed the light source. So um, even though you can achieve quite something with JavaFX 2D in terms of making it appear like a 3D shape with gradients and so on, uh, what you cannot do, uh, but what you can do in, in JavaFX 3D is changing the light source. So I, when I drag the um, my my pointer around here, the mouse cursor, you see that uh, the light source will change. It will change to the position of the of the mouse. I go to the very upper left corner now, and to the lower left corner, to the corner to the right, bottom right, and then up again over here. If you move over it, which is like in a central view on um, central lighting on all my balls on the rail. And then moving up there again. And I move to this position over here. Since um, you will see that now the um, the lighting that, that uh, illuminates this ball comes from the right hand side. But if I put this over to this point here, it, it looks as if the light comes from above and uh, likewise with all the other balls. So here it now comes from above, whereas on, if the very same ball goes to the other direction, it comes from the side. All this is to make a really very good um, three-dimensional, lively um, view for the system. Overall, the geometry for the 2D view and 3D view is almost the same. So uh, the y-axis goes downwards from here. Uh, these, the um, origin is in the upper left corner. X-axis goes to the right. And then the z-axis, uh, which I'm not using much here, um, uh, is pointing away from your nose, so to speak. <laughs> so <coughs> it goes into the depth of the computer. It's not visible here. I have tilted and uh, rotated the view just slightly along the x-axis uh, so into the depths to give you a little bit impression of what you can do. Uh, of course you can have it totally flat and so on. Uh, still works all the normal way. Um, the usual abacus. Uh, and now I guess I have to write something for the blog post. Enjoy!